Many of us dream of paying off our mortgages by the time we're, what, 50, 60, 65, later. But one Toronto resident made it happen. At age 30, he says others can do the same, if not quite the same turbo speed. Sean Cooper is a financial blogger and author of Burn Your Mortgage. We've talked to you about this before. Yes. You're sort of a, a cause celeb in the newsroom when we found out that you had burned through this mortgage so quickly. But remind us of that journey and, and how you decided to tackle this and, and bring the, the mortgage down so fast. Well, Peter, my inspiration was my mother because growing up, she actually lost her job twice during the dot-com bubble as well as during the financial crisis so she was out of work for about six months during that time and um, she was a single mother so um, we almost lost the family Stress home and, yeah. yes exactly so that was my inspiration for paying down my mortgage super fast uh, the way I was growing up did, did you come up with a plan like from day one be like this is how I'm going to do it or were you just like I'm just gonna try to get as much money and pay down as much as I can while I go or were you on a fixed schedule well, I knew I wanted to pay it off as soon as possible, but it was a pleasant surprise. I was able to do it in three years. I actually signed up for a five-year fixed rate mortgage, so probably should have signed up for a three-year mortgage, right. I guess. So. Uh, and and you, 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 you worked relentlessly. You were working. Was it 100-hour weeks? Occasionally. I didn't do it every week. <laughs> you couldn't. It, it would knock you out. Uh, you, you worked relentlessly. You saved relentlessly. You, you lived in your basement while you rented out the house. Was it worth it? I would say so. I mean, I saw it as short-term gain for uh, short-term pain for long-term gain so that uh, I could work hard for those three years and then enjoy financial freedom for the rest of my lifetime. That's what was at the back of my mind the whole time. Going through a process like that, you must learn an awful lot, uh, both about the system and yourself. With yourself, what, what did you learn about you in, in going through this and doing this? Well, I was able to dig down deep and work hard in order to achieve this uh, goal that I set for myself. And um, it all comes down to, uh, for a lot of people with goals, like the reason why you're setting the goal. Like for me, it was financial freedom, right. being able to, like for a lot of people, financial freedom is different things. It could be volunteering or taking a less stressful job or traveling more. So I kind of had... Uh, that picture of financial freedom in my mind and that's what kept me motivated to get up early and work all those hours uh, during that time. And I, like I mean every time I tell your story to people they say there's no way you can't do that the system doesn't allow it what did you learn about the system and how to sort of navigate it and make sure that that your bottom line was the one that was the most important not sort of the bank or the interest rate or whatever it may be. Yes, that's a great point. Uh, when I was paying down my mortgage, I learned a lot of things from my mortgage broker as well as reading other information out there. And in my book, I have top seven tips and three of the tips. Uh, the first one is to pay your mortgage on accelerated biweekly to match your payment instead of monthly like the lender right. set you up on because yeah. that can help you pay it off a few years sooner uh, as well as when you have found money such as a tax refund or inheritance or even a work bonus you can put that as a lump sum payment against your mortgage and also uh, regarding the system um, definitely know the rules and how your mortgage works because right. uh, with fixed rate mortgages the penalty can be quite hefty right. if you decide to move in your mortgages and port so it's definitely important to read all the fine print. So I've had my mortgage longer than it took you to pay your entire mortgage <laughs> off. If I read your book, am I going to be able to, to, to knock it out in, in a number of years? Or is, is that sort of only particularly doable when you're as uniquely focused as you were in this, this journey? Yes, I kind of use my story as a bit of an inspiration, but right. I'm definitely not encouraging everyone to pay off their mortgage in three years time because it's right. just not practical if you have a family and children, but there are plenty of ways that you can pay down your mortgage a lot sooner. For example, the two most costly expenses after rent and mortgage are groceries and transportation. So for me, I was able to get by without owning a car, but right. if you have children, it's probably not practical to go carless. So perhaps you can buy a two to three year old uh, used car from registered car dealer as opposed to a new car. So there's a way to save money without actually hurting your lifestyle. And I, I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of people would say, now isn't the time to try to rush through your mortgage. Money's cheap, the interest rates are low, take advantage of that, you know, invest in the stock market, diversify, that, that you know, that, that there's other ways of, of sort of maximizing your money. What, what's your response to that? 
Well, instead of using low interest rates as an opportunity to borrow as much money as possible, um, use them to your advantage to pay down the biggest debt of your lifetime, your mortgage. So today, um, with mortgage rates being as low as they are, when you first take on a mortgage, about half of your money is going towards paying down the principal. But if we went back a decade, about a quarter of that money was going towards principal. So right, if you're really right. focused, you can pay down your mortgage super fast. So you know, I'd rather use that to my benefit rather than piling on more debt. Is it trickier? to do this in, say, Toronto or Vancouver as opposed to, I don't know, Kitchener or Dundas or, you know, sort of Halifax? Yes, but I mean, the dream of own home ownership isn't dead in, in Toronto and Vancouver. You just have to be more creative. So right. you probably can't afford the same house that you grew up with in your parents, but you could probably afford a condo downtown right. or if uh, a bigger house is important, you might be able to, as they say, drive till you can afford right. uh, and look at maybe a townhouse or right. a detached house. So it's all about setting yourself real ex realistic expectations and right. not buying too much house. Uh, okay, so you've paid off the, the, the mortgage, you've got the book done, what's your next goal? My next goal is to have a net worth of a million dollars by age 35. <laughs> You're so. gonna put us all to shame. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm a big fan of goal setting, and um, if you don't really have a goal for yourself, I guess uh, you kind of just uh, get up every day and uh, just uh, not really work towards anything. Right. So for me, that's my next goal. So well, we'll have to check in on you, see how you're doing on that, because man, you knocked this one out of the park. It was, uh, and it's great to see you again. Congrats on all this, and uh, and we'll see how the book goes. Great, thank you, Peter. Sean Cooper is a financial blogger and now author of Burn Your Mortgage.